breakfast right now. I think that today I'm going to do a fruit bowl because we have some dragon fruit and some other fruit. And then I'm gonna do some avocado toast with that as well, which has been one of my favorites lately. Also give this video a thumbs up if breakfast is your favorite meal of the day, because it is for me. I know some people don't even eat it, but it's my fave. So let's go get this. and none of it was recording, but breakfast is finally done. I have the avocado toast, which just has some Canyon Bakery bread, and then I mash some avocado and add some salt and pepper. So it's very simple. I also like to add the everything with the bagel blend from Trader Joe's sometimes instead, but I'm out of that right now, so I just stuck with salt and pepper. And then I have a fried egg on the side. It took me way too long to make one that finally the yolk didn't break. It's almost noon now, so this is basically brunch by this point. But yeah, then I have a bowl of fruit where I cut up some dragon fruit, banana, and peaches, and then I made a cup of coffee, and it's actually an immune boosting coffee that I was talking about in my previous video. Basically, they add some different superfoods. I normally make just like an eight ounce cup and add in a splash of almond milk, and that is my coffee. I don't drink coffee every day, but I like to on days when I'm filming or days when I'm trying to be super productive, and I a lot to get done and today is going to be one of those days. We'll see you guys at the next meal. Oh my gosh. Wow. It took me so long to make this all that this is literally cold. It's currently like 2.30 I think or somewhere around there and I'm going to go get a snack and I'm going to show you guys my favorite recipe or one of my favorite smoothies right now. Take your blender and then you want to add in a whole frozen banana. If you don't have banana you can use pear instead which I've done as well and it's really good. You can also add in a teaspoon of maca powder if you want to which is optional. This is a superfood that kind of adds a little bit of a nutty flavor. It basically helps your body deal with stress. If you don't have that it's totally fine. The next thing you want to add in is a tablespoon or two of pecans as well as a cup of almond milk, a dash of cinnamon, two large dates. Make sure to take the pits out. I think that's everything. I'll have the whole recipe on the screen here because I don't know. I might be forgetting something but once you have all of that you're just gonna blend it up also add in some protein powder if you want to. I recommend doing collagen for protein or some kind of unsweetened protein just because it is sweet with the banana and the dates. Once that's blended, add in about a cup of ice as well as one to two tablespoons of cacao nibs. Blend it up again and you're all done. I love making this smoothie. I'm going to drink some of that and then go do a workout. The smoothie is done. Let's see how it is. That's good. I've noticed it actually is kind of sweet. I used two large dates and then a whole banana, but I think it might actually be good with just half a banana. You can kind of adjust it if you want it more sweet. Do a whole if you want it less sweet than just do half of one, and it'll be great. Cheers! Okay. Is this too overexposed? I can't tell. Sometimes I like to do a workout in the morning. Today I am doing it in the afternoon though. I was waiting for the sun to come out and it's finally coming out. It was literally just raining like a couple minutes ago. For today, I'm going to do a run. I also brought out my yoga mat to do some strength training workouts, but it's so wet because it just rained. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm just going to do legs instead. Here's a montage of that. <laughs> going on a walk after that. So now I'm making dinner. I'm making burrito bowls. I just cut up some onions and peppers and I'm going to stick them in a skillet. And then I have some rice cooking. It should be hot. It's like steaming now. I put on some crushed red pepper and then salt and black pepper. The tip for this is actually to put the heat on higher so then they actually get browned as they're cooking because that'll just add more of a kind of smoky flavor to them, just like what a lot of restaurants have. That is that. And then what else did I do? I made some guac. So I cut 
up the leftover red onion and put those in a bowl and mash some avocado and added some salt and pepper as well. Definitely would also recommend adding lime to this. I thought we didn't have limes, but then I realized we did afterwards. So add some lime. Also, if you want this to taste more like Chipotle, I would recommend adding it to the rice and the onions and peppers. I've done that too. It's really good. After that, I just heated up some beans and then I was all done. added some cheese, salsa. Also chopped tomatoes are good as well in this. But anyways, that was everything for dinner. Sometimes if I had an earlier dinner, I'll have a snack a little later and I'll have apples and peanut butter. That's what I've been doing a lot lately. And I also love to add some cinnamon on top of the apples. Yeah, it just makes it really good. So that is everything for what I ate today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't show a lunch idea because I had breakfast so late. It was like literally noon and it was basically brunch by that point. But I have so many other meal ideas and recipes. So if you guys want to see another video, be sure to let me know. Also, if if you haven't already be sure to follow me on my instagram in my tiktok and subscribe to this channel and yeah i love you guys so much i hope you have an amazing day and i'll see you in my next video bye